Greetings citizens of the internet, I'm Static Buzz, and in this video we're going to be covering how to beat the first boss of Dark Souls 3. His name is either Eudex Gunder or Ludex Gunder, I can't tell, but uh, looking at it I'm saying that it's Iudex because it looks like an eye. So anyways, let's get started. So my strategy on this is to go two-handed and use my mobility to avoid his attacks. There are two phases. The first phase, he's in his normal um, form here. I guess that's how we describe it, forms. So this would be you know, form, normal form. And he has this long pole arm that he uses to do lunging attacks and cleave attacks and jumping attacks like you saw there. Now that is the attack we are waiting for. What we want to do is back up, strafe to the left, avoid his attacks by rolling. And I always roll twice, sometimes three times when he does that attack because he will attack twice or three times on that attack. So wait for the long jump, come in and hit him once, and back out and start strafing to your left. And when I talk about left to right, I mean your left to right in, in this whole video here. So you want to strafe to your left, avoid his attacks, wait for the long jump. And then hit him once. You, you can risk hitting him twice, but sometimes when he jumps and comes down, he will land and then do a quicker kind of cleave move with his polearm and catch you. So I, uh, I limited it to one, and that seemed to work. I can get through phase one without getting hit at all uh, in most cases. Now when I developed this, I developed it with a deprived. And as you guys know, a deprived starts with a loincloth and a club. So I couldn't take any hits. I couldn't block him because my shield didn't absorb anything. So this was my only option was to come up with an avoidance type strategy. So what I'm doing with this one is I'm using the knight because he is the least mobile of all the starting classes, at least from what I could tell. I could be wrong, but from what I could tell, he's the least mobile. And you see I take a hit there, back up, take a swig, not too big of a deal. I do take a couple hits in this fight, so you can survive taking some hits. But I have also done this fight and only been hit once during phase two. And uh, it's pretty pretty safe method of doing this. I'm just waiting for uh, a couple more hits and then we will get him down to uh, about half health and he'll go into... Phase 2 where he transforms and a giant rat blob thing comes out of him and we'll wait for that and uh, then I'll explain that phase of the fight. Okay, that didn't take long. He is transforming into whatever this is, the uh, black blood that uh, looks like a giant rat blob anyways when this part of the fight happens you want to stay in close and you want to roll to your right and stay as close as possible now you will see here he goes to a tower of doom move and if you're not aware of that you will get hit like I just did so um, if you do get hit just back out take a swig and then roll into him when he lunges or attacks towards you and like I said, try to roll to the right. If you go to your left and roll to your left, you're bound to get hit by his pole arm, which he uses a cleave attack with. So if you just roll to your right, attack when you see his back, you should be safe. And when you see him put his hand down like that, you know he's going to his tower doom move, so be ready for it. And I usually roll twice on that one. Sometimes you get away with one, but it all depends on the timing and how you go about doing it and we're just about to finish him off and that'll be the fight stick with uh, what I told you and you should be pretty safe and I wish you luck good luck 